Hey, Tunji from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve this poster that I did specially for the Manchester United fans. So if you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply use the link on the description section of this video. So without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. All right, so let's create a new document. So I'm going to click on file and I'll select new. And I'm going to call this project CR7. And my weight is going to be 70, 720 as usual. And my height is going to be 900. Then I'm going to make my resolution 100. Color mode is going to be RGB. And um, I'll leave every other settings the way they are, and I'll click on the create button. All right, so I'm going to drag my background and drop like so. Now zoom out a bit. Then I'm going to drag and drop the picture of Cristiano Ronaldo, and I'll drag that like so. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add a layer max to this. Then I'll select the brush tool. And I'll make sure that I'm on the soft round brush here and I'm going to increase the size of my brush like so and I'm gonna make sure that my foreground is set to black and I'll gently take out part of the body now the next thing I'm gonna do is to add hue saturation and I'm going to clip this to the layer of Cristiano Ronaldo. Now I'll click here. Then I'm going to reduce the saturation. All right. I'm going to push that. Uh, let's sit down like so. I'll reverse the mask by hitting Ctrl I on my keyboard because I don't want this to affect the entire image. So I'm just going to, I only want it to apply to this side of the bodies. I'm going to switch from black to white and i'll take it out from here like so and um, the next thing i'm going to do is to add selective color now the reason why i'm adding a selective color is because i want the face to have this orange color all right so i'm going to select the clip icon again on the selective tab the opposite of cyan is red and the opposite of magenta is green and the opposite of yellow here is blue all right so we have rgb i'm going to add red to this so i'm going to move from here to this side all right i'm going to add yellow to this so i'll move this here like so and i'll go to yellow and i will add red again like so and this time i'm not going to touch the yellow i'm going to move the magenta to this side all right then i'll go to the neutrals here i'm going to add red again by moving this from here to here all right now when you're doing this you need to be very careful okay so i'm going to move this here and for the yellow i'm going to add yellow to this now you see that the color on Cyrilnado's face is now similar to the background so i'm going to move this to right about here here like so and um, let's see if I play with this a bit let's put this here and I'll, I'll increase the black like so all right yeah this is good now the next thing I'm going to do is to add color lookup so I'll click on the color lookup adjustment here and click on the clip icon again and I'll change this to hedge amber so on the hedge amber I'm just going to reduce the opacity all right to let's say eight all right eight is fine and I'm going to add uh, black and white to this all right I'm going to click here so add the black and white and I'll clip on the clip icon again and this time I reverse the mask of this now the reason I'm adding black and white is because I want to reduce the saturation of the the strength of the color on this side of the jersey so now i'm going to select my brush tool now i'm going to make sure i'm on the soft round brush when i'm doing this 
and I'm just gonna gently take you know it out like so so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gradient map because if you look at the hair of Sir Ronaldo here you see is off all right so we need to blend this with the background so to do that I'm gonna add a layer mask I'm gonna add a gradient map excuse me so I'm gonna add that here and I'm going to click on the same icon again and this time I'm gonna make sure I'm on the thumbnail of the gradient map now always make sure you're on the thumbnail of the gradient map whenever you are trying to change the color of your gradient so I'm gonna click on the gradient editor and I'll start from the shadow part which is this um, slider here so I'll double click here and pick a color from here and click the OK button and I'll double click on this again and just pick a lighter color like so so I think this is good so I'm gonna click on the OK button and click the OK button right here so what I'm gonna do is to reverse the mask of the gradient map by hitting Ctrl I on the gradient map box then I'm gonna select my brush tool and I'll zoom in a bit and just you know add the gradient map to just only the hair so I'm gonna just apply that here like so right so the next thing i'm going to do is to add curve to the project now the curve i'm adding is to create overexposed effect on the face of cristiano ronaldo so i'm going to click on the curve adjustment now and i'm going to click on the the clip icon again and this time i'm just going to move this up to right about here and i'm going to hit the control i on my keyboard to reverse the mask select the brush too and i'm going to zoom in and you know i'm just going to reduce the size of my brush and just add you know white to the layer mask so i'm going to switch to white and i'm just going to add the curve to the image like so all right so uh in order to make this look more interesting i'm going to create a new layer here and i'm going to call this light bg all right and i'm going to make sure that i'm on the brighter value of the color of my background so i'm going to move this to right about here and select the ok button and select the brush too and i'm going to increase the size of my brush i need to zoom out all right, so I'm go just going to gently apply the brush here, like so. All right, so, and I'll make this white now. Click on the OK button, and I'm just going to select the brush tool again and just add that here. So. all right so what i'm going to do again now is to add um a light effect to the face again because we need to make you know the sun effect on the face more real so i'm going to hold on alt and click on the new layer icon and call this light and i'm going to change my um, color mode to color dodge and check the fill with color dodge neutral color black option here and click the ok button and I'm going to um, hold on Alt and just sample a color from you know this side of the project and I'm going to zoom in then I need to clip this to um, the layers so to do that I'm going to hold on Alt and mouse over in between the light dodge layer and the curve layer and then click reduce the size of my brush and just gently apply you know the brush to the project like so just apply brush here all 
I'm going to hold on Alt and click to create a new layer again. I'm going to call this bond and I'll change my color mode to um, soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray option and click on the OK button. And this time I'm going to select the bond tool. So my bond tool should be somewhere here and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to hold on Alt and clip this again to um, the light. Um, layer and I'm just going to apply my bond to like so I need to put the Cristiano Ronaldo layers in a group so I'm going to select the bond layer and shift select Cristiano Ronaldo layer and I'm going to hit ctrl G on my keyboard and I'll call this CR7 so I'm going to drag my next image in like so and this should be here so i'm going to scale this and position this here and i'm going to add a landmark to this and i'm going to select the brush to increase the size of the brush and then i'll switch to black and then take this out from the scene like so All right, so I'm going to add black and white adjustment to this and I'll click on this icon again to say I want this to apply to just only the layer. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to select the brush tool again, reduce the size of my brush. Now I still want part of the jersey, like the color of the jersey to still be visible. So I'm going to gently take the black and white adjustment out from the scene like so I'm just gonna take it off from here the reason why my brush is light is because I'm using a graphics tablet part of what is affecting it is because I turned on transfer here so if I click on the transfer option here and now you see I have a pen pressure here now this is only for people with graphics tablet but if you don't have a graphics tablet you can turn down your flow to 15 and you are still going to achieve the same uh, move so i'm just going to gently take it out from here again and this time i'm going to go straight inside the cr7 folder and make a copy of this gradient so i'm going to drag that and drop here now when you do this it will affect the clipping of the layers above it so i'm going to move this out and i'm going to clip them back again so i'm going to hold down alt and click hold it again and click Alt again and click and this should be out from the group so I'm gonna hold on alt and click because I only want this to affect this layer so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the layer mask of the black and white and apply it to the gradient map so I'm gonna hold on alt drag and drop on the layer mask of the gradient map and now you see that uh, the layer mask of the black and white is now on the gradient map i think i'm losing the image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the gradient map and just take it out take the gradient map out from the side like so all right and i'll go back to the black and white and i think i still need to just play with the black and white so i'll go to the property and under the red I'll push that back like so and for the yellow I'm going to increase the yellow just like so you know what let's just push the red out all right let's push the red out and for the yellow I'm going to just put that here and so and I'm going to take the gradient map out from this side of the project like so right and this is good all right this is beautiful all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to add noise so i'm going to hold on alt and click on the new layer again and call this noise and change my blend mode to soft light check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option and click the ok button and i'll go to filter noise and say 
add noise all right then i want my noise to be smaller like so and i'm going to click on the ok uh, button so the next thing i'm doing now is to add gradient map again to the project and this time i'm going to change this to i'm going to go down to basic and click the ok button and say ok so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit ctrl i on my keyboard to reverse the mask i'm going to switch to white and i'm going to gently apply the black and white to uh the scene like so apply it here apply it here like so all right so I'm, i need to make this side of Cristiano ronaldo's body visible so i'm going to go back to the cr7 folder click on the layer mask of Cristiano ronaldo and i reduce the size of my brush and i'm going to add this back to the scene like so all right this is good i'll come back here and i'm just going to just like that like so all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to move this above this and i'll close this and put this in a group all right and i'll call this celebration okay and i'll hide this so i'm going to hold on ctrl shift alt and e to stamp visible of the layers because i want to add depth of field to um, the project so i'm going to right click and say convert to smart object and i'll go to filter blur gallery and i'm going to select fill blur then i'm going to reduce my blur strength to three and i'm going to select the ok button now remember to um, hide the noise layer before you stamp visible okay so then i'm going to add a layer mask to this and hit ctrl i on my keyboard to reverse the mask i'm going to hide this then make sure that your foreground is set to white like mine and i'm going to select the brush tool and i'm just going to gently add the um field blur to the project like so so i'm going to do the same thing here okay this is good so i'm going to make the noise layer visible now and i can even reduce the strength of the noise i'm going to stamp visible the layers again by holding ctrl shift alt and e and again i'll right click and convert this to a spot object and i'm going to go to filter camera of filter here now to do the color grading to the project so i'm going to start with the basics uh, for the basic i'm going to uh, increase the exposure a bit increase the contrast to add depth to the project and for the highlights which is this side i'm going to increase that a bit and for the white i will increase that also a bit so for the black i'll push that down because i really want the attention to be on this side of uh, my project so for the texture i'm going to increase the texture a bit just to add contrast to the pixels all right and i'm going to close this and i'll go straight to details then under details i'm going to increase the sharpen a bit not too much and i'll hide that and then for the color mixture i'm going to increase the strength of the yellow and just turn down the red a bit all right i'm going to move the red down a bit like so and just make the yellow like so and um, for the split tone i'm only going to play with the shadows i'm going to move the hue to this shade of um, green and increase the saturation to add you know green to the project like so that's good then um for the effect i'm going to add grain which is noise to this uh, i'm going to add more noise to the project like so and i think every other thing is fine and i'm going to select the ok button all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to add my grunge edges all right so i'm going to add my frame like so so this should be here and i'm going to move this down and scale it up like so and just put this here all right and i'll make a copy of this bring out the free transform and root i'm going to rotate this and this should be here like so i can even flip this horizontal all right and this should be here i'll make a copy of this like so and use the move tool to move this way and right click bring out the free transform right click and choose 
180 rotation and this should be here like so and then the bottom part of the frame should go down like so and I'll make a copy of this free transform again and choose rotate 180 and this should be here like so so I should select the four layers bring out the free transform and just rotate this a bit and just you know push this out like so and just move it here okay we'll scale the four layers yeah this is good now it's time for me to bring in my text so i'm going to copy the text and i'm going to hit the text tool and paste this here now i need to put these grunge layers with the color grading layer in a group all right and i'll select the text layer and make my character knockout all right that's the font I'm using here now. So if I use this, all right, this is good. So then I'm going to position this here. I'll copy the name and paste this here. And the font I'm going to use, the character I'm going to use here is going to be Gotham. It's going to be Gotham Bold. All right, then bring out the free transform and just scale this here and make this to, to this side. And for the return, I'm going to change that to I'm going to pick a color from here and just and I'm going to select the OK button. All right, now my text is not really visible, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'll pick a color from here. So the OK button is increase the size of my brush. Just apply the brush to the side. All right, this need to be above this. See, that's too strong, so I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit, like so. And I'm going to put everything here in a group. So I'm going to just select the two layers and hit ctrl G on my keyboard to put this in the group and name or team all right let's just say name team and then I'm gonna add a layer mask to this then I'll go to my brush option here and choose the pencil tool all right now I know some of you have never used this tool before so I'm gonna re I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush all right and I'm going to make sure that my foreground is set to black and I'm just going to scribble like so. Okay, then I'm going to add the logos. So I'm going to scale this down. Let's run this here. I'll do the same thing with this. I'll position it here. Okay, because this is not visible, so I'm going to change the color to white by selecting the effect button here and choose color overlay. And I'm going to make sure that this is set to, let's say, this shade of color and select the OK button and select the OK button. Now move this here and select the pen tool and make sure that this is set to shape. And I'm going to say, I don't want no color here, and I'm going to make this too. Then I'm going to just draw a line between the two logos. And I shift select the three layers and and I'm going to scale this a bit. All right. Okay. So uh yeah. This should be here. So now I think I need to reduce the strength of the grunge layers. I'm gonna push that L like so. And um yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post 
my tutorials like share and comment on this video i'll see you again in the next one peace